it away, take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I wanna be. Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. Today is a little little vlog. We are going to the Houston Rodeo. This is my first time going. I went to bed late and woke up early, so I'm tired right now. I actually might take a quick nap. I just be booking my hair appointments last minute. Might end up finding somebody. She only had one appointment because she went to the rodeo tonight too. And so yeah, I got that booked, hair done out the way. Plus I've been meaning to put my hair up anyway because I'm just tired of it. I just, I need a break, at least like a month or so. This is my fourth time installing this hair. It's from Glam Affair Hair. It's so good. Literally my fourth time. This time I cut it. I've been having it like super long, but I asked her to cut it. Yeah, because before it was like down here, but I wanted to switch it up and get it a little bit shorter. So I just asked her to do just like a little blunt cut. I'm always middle part, bust down kind of girl. But I am starving because I just didn't even eat this morning. I was so tired, I just got up and left. But I also don't feel like cooking anything, so I'm just gonna have some leftover pasta that I made last night. It's one o'clock, one thirty. I got it pretty early because I also needed to like wash my bundles and then like detangle my hair. Point was at 9.30. So not like super early, but it's early for me. It's early for me. I still don't know what I'm wearing. <laughs> I got a couple options. I got like these high-waisted pants with like a bell. I'm gonna try on so you guys can see. But also I ordered me and Toron some like cowboy boots on Amazon. They're off of delivery right now and I don't know if they're gonna get here in time. Our mail usually delivers around like two or three, so fingers crossed. They'll also, Amazon be lying. They be like, oh, your package is off for delivery or delivered, and then be showing up like two days later. We're gonna be meeting up with the family and friends. I stopped at Walmart because I wanted to get like some seltzer or something to like drink on because one, what I know about the Houston Rodeo is that everything is like crazy expensive. Um, which is fine, we're gonna go enjoy ourselves, but I wanna have like, you know, a little pregame. So I was like looking up different seltzers and I came across this Spiked Simply. Like I think this is new or this is the first time I've seen it, but like the Simply, you know, lemonades, Spiked version. We're gonna have this later. I'm gonna sip on this while I get dressed. You want one? Strawberry, blueberry, regular or watermelon? Strawberry. Okay, well Toronto's is gonna be our taste tester. Of course, the strawberry gotta be in the bag. Wait, oh, yeah, I actually wanna see him try it, so we can, we gonna go see. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Let me try. Okay, it's better than, well everything's better than White Claw. It's better than Truly too. Yeah, actually, that's really good. <laughs> I can dig it. Well, because this is higher in calories, too. I think the Trulies and stuff are a little bit lower in calories, but whatever. We're not worried about calories today. We just drinking and eating. And 
I can't wait to eat. That's my favorite part. Is it's going to the fair carnival and stuff. I want to eat all the food. But my favorite thing is a corn dog. That's the only thing I really care about is I want a corn dog. All right, I'm gonna eat this pasta. I made like, a, I found it on TikTok, like a little recipe. Onion soup, like what is it? Like the onion dip soup? It's something like that, but she pretty much transformed it into a, like a pasta. So I cooked like tons of onions and then put in some mushrooms and sun-dried tomatoes, some vegan heavy cream. I don't know, I just put in some stuff and it's pretty good. Eat and then I'm gonna take a nap. <laughs> And then I'll be back and we'll, you know, we'll be awake. We'll be ready. Oh, I'm awake. My nap was not good. I'm like groggy. But, boots are delivered, so. I ordered a size up. Hmm. Hmm, that'll work. I got these like padded socks. They're like padded around your like your heel and stuff that can help with like rubbing. And then you also some lidocaine patches, jelly like band-aids. So I'm not saying I'm protecting the feet, I'm protecting the feet. Yours came in like a box box. And then I got Tarant and boots too. Hmm. These actually aren't bad. Not bad at all. Let me pop open a drink. Cheers. Let's go do this makeup. So I'm not really a makeup girly. I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> but I at least know how to make myself look decent, you know? I'm just gonna put on a little sunscreen. I'm just kind of walk you through my steps. I feel like I just do makeup on camera, but I don't really explain it. I'm gonna start off with some brow gel. Now, I don't really have eyebrows. I got like 10 pieces of hair and the rest is microbladed. Like I got it done a long time ago. I need to get it redone, but I just brush up with little hair I got. Milk primer, hydro grip. I got this like color corrector from Sigma. I love this. It's like two shades and this one is like more like peachy and this one is like a little orange. And that's what I use to color correct like all the hyperpigmentation. I just go in there and cover up all the dark spots. Then I don't even blend it out. I just kind of set it on top and let it see. That's it. After color corrector, it's eyebrows now. I'm not gonna teach you this because I don't know what I'm doing. As long as the eyebrows look decent. I'm gonna carve them out just slightly. I just take some concealer, pop a dot under there, under there. I've used tons of different foundations, but the ones that I'm like gravitating towards because they're like lighter coverage and just not too heavy. Beauty Blender, this one, and then the Fenty one, the Ease Drops and the Bounce. But this one is too dark for me and this one's too light for me. So I just mix the two. And then also because I'm very, very neutral, like my skin is neutral and everything turns orange on me. I have the LA Girl Pro mixing like a blue foundation and I just add like a pump of that. I'm just gonna mix her up. This just helps neutralize it a little bit so I don't just be orange. Can never find just a foundation that just matches me. I'll go in on the bottom of my face where like all the hyperpigmentation is but see how it just hides all of my dark spots like nothing concealer i use the Too faced born this way she's like she's big i was like dang coming here down the nose here 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 okay and then i go in with the huda faux filter corrector this is kind of this is like a color corrector too but i just love pink in my concealer pop it right on under there and then I add some here, and a little drop on my nose. Contour stick, and this is an espresso from Fenty Beauty. And I do here, all in here. And then I take it alongside my nose, and then up around my eyes here. 
setting spray. Blend it up, not down, okay? We wanna lift, lift, not drag the face down. Like girls who do makeup, they be spending time on their makeup. They be like hour and a half, two hours in. Me, 10 minutes. Maybe I'll be better if I took more time. <laughs> Maybe I would be actually good. I'll go in with a beauty blender and just blend out the rest. And then from here, I'll go back to that foundation, down the foundation brush, and then I'll just kind of make sure all the lines are like blended in. I'll take more. That was on the back of my hand. We want a smooth transition, okay? Just because I wanted a little more pink, just a little more. Just add a couple more. Bah, bah. Just take like any type of press powder. This one is the One Size Beauty press powder and first I'll just like press under my eyes then I'll go in with like my loose powder and this is the Huda Beauty and this is a cupcake this is a pink one so I'll do the pink one under my eyes and up my nose I use two different bronzers I use the NARS one and I use the Fenty Beauty one so I'll just go in with both of them. Right over where the contour is. The Fenty Beauty one kind of has like a little bit of a, like a red undertone. So I don't do too much with this one. And I'll go back to the NARS one and down the bridge of my nose, right into in my eyelid. I don't really wear eyeshadow, mostly because I don't really know how. That's it. I dust the powder away. We're gonna go in with our blush. This one I dropped and it's, she's just falling apart. It's Laura Mercier. It's like this very pinky, super, super pinky. Hold on. Go right on top of my cheeks, up to my eyebrow. You can go heavy with blush because it's the first thing to go. You know, your blush doesn't really stay. But I love like that baby doll pink. Just do eyeliner and mascara. I always just do a little baby wing. I start from the middle of my eye and then bring it out just because I have like these small like little beady eyes. So I don't really feel it with eyeliner. Because I do have hooded eyes, kind of, like slightly hooded, I do the eyeliner with my eye open. Like, I don't close it. Leave it open, and then you can do your wing that way. Because you want to do it while it's open, um, and not while it's closed, otherwise it, like, bends funny. Because I go, like, across the crease. Good enough. More scent spray, and then we'll do mascara. I think, do I wanna add some lashes to the end? I think I might add a couple just to the tips. I just got some Ardell little lashes. Ain't got no lashes, none. I have zero. Don't grow a lot of hair. I thought of the hair on my head. I'm, I'm pretty okay with that. But I wish I had some eyebrows, and I wish I had some lashes. There we go, it's just like, whew. I am wearing the little falsies. I like to take this and kind of cut at an angle because it goes from short to long, you know? So I just cut. So it's more of a little gradual. Charlotte Tilbury brown lip liner, pillow talk. Such a good brown. My favorite browns are the Charlotte Tilbury one and then um, Rare Beauty has a really good brown too. That's like brown, brown. Take a little color corrector a little bit. Ooh, that was a little too much, too much. Yeah, <laughs> you look good. No, no tank. I don't like this. Why don't you iron it down? All right, first option. I have the boots under here, but 
Got the little bell sleeves. Got to figure out the boob situation so my boobs don't pop out. But option number one. Option number two. Got that little long flowy skirt. You can actually see the boobs. And the crop top says like cowboys and tequila. Definitely got to put like a little something under here because if I lift my arms up, boobs are out. So, let me see which one. Babe likes both of them match what he has on. So, we'll see which one he's digging. Tip one over there, we don't want that again. She gets herself around the first. Let's hustle, Emily. Two right hand turns to finish it out. From Lady All in Pink to Pretty and Blue. Come on down. 15 Cypress wants to be a Martin Mustin coach. He's coaching himself right now, telling himself to hang on, and he did a very nice job. It's kind of candy time for Julia. Cypress, Texas. She loves going to the Oh, no. Okay. The I'm gonna turn up.